Discover 20 Shocking Facts About Getting Shot in This Eye-Opening Video From survival rates to common misconceptions, you'll be amazed by the information presented. Stay tuned to learn more about this serious topic and increase your knowledge on the subject. Watch now to uncover these incredible facts. Gun Anguished Have you ever wondered what it feels like to get shot? What happens to your body when a bullet penetrates your skin? Or what are the chances of surviving one? Getting shot is undoubtedly one of the worst experiences you can have in your life. However, the subject is much more complex than we might think and very different from how it is portrayed in Hollywood movies. Being a victim of a gunshot involves countless variables that determine the final outcome for the person shot. Nonetheless, there are extremely interesting cases to analyze. In this video, I will show you incredible medical, historical, technological, and ballistic facts about this little-known topic. So, sit back and get ready to learn 20 incredible facts about getting shot. Leg Injuries We often think that a gunshot to the leg can't cause significant damage, but that is misleading. A shot to the femoral artery can lead to severe blood loss. The femoral artery runs through the thigh, using the femur as support, and supplies oxygenated blood to the leg. In healthy adults, it ranges between 35 and 10 millimeters in diameter, making it a fairly large artery. Without immediate medical intervention, the wound is fatal, as depending on its severity, it could be lethal in just 15 minutes. Remote Effects Besides local tissue damage caused by the direct impact, the bullet can also cause remote injuries and incapacitating effects, such as remote neural damage in living targets through an effect known in ballistics as hydrostatic shock, or stopping power. This is the ability of a projectile with a certain mass and velocity to knock down a target. It's worth mentioning that this is a controversial theory among scientists, with divided opinions on its validity. The Story of Mike Day In 2007, during a mission in Iraq, U.S. Navy SEAL Mike Day kicked open a door and found himself in a room with four heavily armed extremists at close range. He subsequently took 27 direct hits to multiple parts of his body, in addition to shrapnel from a grenade that detonated near him. Against all odds, Mike Day managed to exit the room and get to safety. He was in critical condition but survived to tell his incredible story and break paradigms about the effect of gunshots on humans. Entry and Exit Wounds There are two basic types of gunshot wounds, entry and exit wounds. The entry wound is usually smaller and quite symmetrical compared to the exit wound, which tends to be larger and more destructive because the bullet reaches the end of its trajectory and has to force its way out of the tissues. Head Shots Believe it or not, people who get shot in the front of the head usually have a better chance of survival than those shot in the head from side to side. This is because a bullet traveling from the front typically destroys only one of the two hemispheres of the brain whereas a side-to-side -side shot generally damages both hemispheres, making it 100% lethal. Movie Mythology Aiming at limbs like arms, legs, and shoulders to create only superficial wounds is a myth from the movies and not something police officers or soldiers are trained to do. In scenarios where there is no room for doubt, shooting in non-lethal areas risks the lives of others or the officer or soldier themselves. Pneumothorax a small percentage of shooting casualties are due to a condition known as pneumothorax or collapsed lung. This occurs when air escapes from the lung and fills the space outside the lung between it and the chest wall. This accumulation of air exerts pressure on the lung, preventing it from expanding as it normally does when we inhale. Survival rate for headshots. The survival rate for a gunshot wound to the head is around 5%. However, only 3% of survivors have a good quality of life afterward, meaning they can perform their cognitive and psychomotor activities normally. Therefore, a gunshot wound to the head is very dangerous and almost always leaves lasting effects. Cost of getting shot Getting shot is expensive. According to the New York Times, the average cost of a gunshot wound is $14,600 for emergency care and $35,400 for lifetime medical care as a result of being shot. This does not include court costs, mental health care, unemployment, and other expenses that may arise depending on the situation. Gunshots from assault rifles Gunshots from assault rifles are particularly more lethal than others. The bullets do not enter the body cleanly, instead, they ricochet, fragment, and expand within the body, destroying the tissue they touch and the surrounding area. Survival and Gender 
Women who have been severely injured by a gunshot are 14% more likely to survive than men with similar injuries. Scientists believe this difference is due to the negative impact of male hormones on a traumatized immune system. Additionally, women have a significantly higher number of nerve fibers, which means they will feel much more pain than a man but will survive longer. Survival Factors The chances of surviving a gunshot depend largely on factors such as the location of the injury, the amount of blood lost, and how quickly the victim gets to the hospital. Technology and medical advances have increased the chances of surviving a critical gunshot wound by 40% in the past 20 years. Gunshots to the heart Receiving a gunshot to the left side of the heart generally causes more blood loss than a shot to the right side, as the right side has much lower blood pressure. Preventing blood loss Blood loss is one of the most common causes of death associated with being shot. It can be prevented by using special injectable sponges that expand inside the wound, sealing the hole left by the bullet in just 15 seconds. An example is the product, STADS, by the company Red Med X, used in battle by the US military. Survival Probability Dr. Vincent J. M. DeMaio, former chief medical examiner and author of multiple books on ballistic medicine, suggests that there is an 80 to 95 percent chance of surviving a gunshot if you reach the hospital with your heart still beating additionally he discovered that around 80 percent of the body is not fatal when shot the will to live surprisingly the will to live has often been cited as one of the most important factors in the lethality of gunshot cases and other traumas although there is not extensive research it has been concluded to have a positive impact on the victim especially in war situations Effectiveness of Bulletproof Vests Bulletproof vests will not necessarily save you from pain. Although the bullet may not penetrate, it will feel as if a horse has kicked you in the stomach. Kevlar vests are only useful against smaller caliber bullets, such as those from most handguns. Assault rifle bullets will penetrate them in most cases. Ceramic bulletproof vests are more effective but are also heavier and more expensive. Gunshots to the stomach Getting shot in the stomach can be lethal depending on the location. If the bullet severs the spinal cord, death is almost instantaneous. If it hits the aortic artery or the spleen, death is inevitable but slower. Some non-lethal areas can cause peritonitis, drastically reducing the quality of life. The pain from a gunshot to the stomach is paralyzing and enough to take someone out of the fight. Survivor Testimonies People who have survived gunshots describe a variety of sensations. Some mention that it did not hurt at all, while others describe an intense burning sensation or an impact similar to a baseball hit. Many agree that the worst part is feeling their own warm blood pouring out of their body. Neck injuries. A gunshot wound to the neck is particularly dangerous due to the vital anatomical structures contained in that space. The neck contains the larynx, trachea, pharynx, esophagus, jugular and brachiocephalic veins, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. Gunshots to the neck can cause severe hemorrhages, airway compromise, and nervous system injuries. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot from this information. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos.